With all the prominent Mormons in the news right now, it's a good time for us to discover and ask yourself, just who are these Mormons? You have Mitt Romney running for president. You have Glenn Beck, who's taken over as a voice for the church, even though he's not a true Christian because no other Christian leader has the guts to step up and take over as a spokesperson. You have John Huntsman, <coughs> excuse me. You have others out there who are prominent Mormons. Just who are the Mormons? First of all, just so you know, the Mormons believe that God uh, had sex with all kinds of women everywhere and that the children that they produced, the offspring, the ones that God liked were white people and the ones that God didn't like were black people. They believe that God is one of many gods that meet in an interplanetary commission somewhere way out in outer space and decide what's going on in the world from day to day and decide what's going to happen in the world by vote and by proxy. They believe Jesus Christ and Satan are brothers and that they had to fight it out to see who was going to be Satan and who would be Jesus because they wanted to see who was going to be good and bad and they had a big battle and Jesus won. So Jesus became Jesus and Satan became Satan and they said because Satan hated his angels so bad that lost to Jesus and his angels that he made his angels black. This is just racist, ridiculous stupidity on their behalf. They believe that Jesus Christ took a bunch of Jewish people from Israel, brought them over to America, and settled them, and they are who the American Indians are. They believe Jesus lived here with the American Indians who were really Jews, and settled them here. They believe that there is no literal hell. They believe that all of them will become gods one day with a little g, but they think they'll be gods with a big g. They'll all be gods one day if they continue on with their life and, and do their Book of Mormon stuff. And they believe that the Millennial Kingdom is going to be in Missouri. And I can go on and on and on and on and on with the Mormons. And see, the thing about it is, is they hide. They hide all this stuff. If you go to their websites, they try to make fun and say, well, you know, uh, you know what about these crazy Mormons? You'll see something like that when you Google it. And you come to it and they'll say, yeah, crazy Mormons believe in Jesus Christ and blah, blah, blah. They try to hide things. The Book of Mormon is explicit what they believe. And all these people that I mentioned believe exactly what I told you. They're trying to make you think that they're real Christians. Even Glenn Beck. I'm not saying Glenn Beck's a bad guy. I think that he might mean well, uh, you know, inside his soul. He might have good intentions somewhat. But he's trying to recruit you into Mormonism. Just like Mitt Romney, John Huntsman, they're like the Jehovah's Witnesses. They are big, major recruiters into their religion. It's a shame that true Christians don't recruit like they do. If, if we did, imagine the, the difference we can make in the world. But Mormons are not Christians, okay? They're far from it. Their religion is satanic, okay? It's evil. And I don't care what anybody says, the facts are the facts are the facts, and they can't be changed. And, and no matter what they try to tell you, no matter how they try to spin it, it's the truth. So understand, understand if we're even here in November, which I have serious doubts we will be if we're true, the true bride of Christ, but if we are here, understand that if you're voting for Mitt Romney because you think he's a Christian, he's not a Christian, okay? He's of, his religion is of Satan. And of course, Mr. Obama is not a Christian. He can say he's a Christian all day long. Talk is cheap. Anybody can talk the talk. Who can walk the walk? And Jesus said, we'll be known by our fruit. Mr. Obama's fruit is rotten. He's a Muslim and he's also of Satan's religion. So you guys have a terrible choice you know if i'm still here this is the first time that i can remember i'm not going to vote because i'm not going to vote for either of satan's children i can't do it so just understand who these people are you know so many christians worship glenn beck and and i'm sure i'll lose friends on this video because i always do whenever i tell the truth about glenn beck and what he actually believes i get i lose lots of friends but i'm not here to make friends i'm here to make disciples of jesus christ to make you ready to go to heaven and to show you the truth. That's what a watchman does. A watchman doesn't have a popular job. A watchman's not the person you pat on the back and say, hey, buddy, how you doing today? <laughs> hey, buddy, yeah, you're my best friend. No, the watchman doesn't have that, that type of camaraderie. The watchman is hated by a lot of people. He's despised by a lot of people, but he's also listened to by many people. If you refuse to listen to what the watchman tells you, then your blood is on your own head. If we don't tell you the truth, your blood's on our own hands, and we're not gonna have your blood on our hands. We're responsible for, to God as teachers, as leaders, that he puts us in a position of leadership to, to teach and, and to show and to, to let you know what the Bible says and what the truths are with what's going on around you that can hurt you, that can, because the watchman's the first person to die. We, we take the danger head on and warn the rest of the flock. 
So that's just a brief little synopsis about the Mormons. You can look up and find a lot more stuff. That gives you enough right there to let you know how crazy that their so-called religion is. And that's why I say all the time, religion will not get you into heaven. Only a, a pure, honest relationship with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, living the way the Holy Bible says, cover to cover, will get you into heaven. Religions will take you nowhere but to hell if Jesus Christ is not the center and the only person that you serve. And, and the Holy Bible is the only book that you serve, not a book of Mormon or anything else. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for discernment amongst the flock that they can understand who all these charismatic people are that come out of the woodworks who are Mormons. The Mormons try so hard to hide their wicked, evil religion. They try so hard to hide the perverse, strange, weird things that they believe in, but they, but they can't because the watchmen will always find out the truth. We dig and find out what the truth is. And if anybody Googles Mormonism, the, the strange beliefs of Mormonism and the weird practices of Mormonism, they'll find this stuff all over the internet. The Mormons can't hide it because there are people out there that want to know the truth and they expo expose them to the light where they can't hide. Just give us a sermon, Jesus, I pray, and just remove scales from eyes and blinders from eyes and help people to see the truth, understand the truth, and just to see the danger before it comes upon them. I ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I believe you went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Please forgive me of my sins. Please cleanse my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And once you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. The way that you feed your body, food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul every day if you read it. Pray to your new best friend, Jesus Christ, daily. He loves you. He wants to talk to you. He wants to hear from you every day. Get water baptized. Pray to be sanctified with the Holy Spirit from head to toe and what little time we have left as you grow closer to Christ as the imminent rapture nears. Please take your Bible to church. When the pastor preaches, open your Bible and read. If it doesn't match what your Bible says, close it, get up and walk out. Find somewhere else to worship. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for you for anything from a terminal illness to a sick pet or anything in between, you want someone to pray that believes, just contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I prayed for it, didn't earn it, but God gave it to me. And praise the Lord, I have mustard seed faith now and I believe my faith can never be shaken. I see God perform miracles constantly in my various ministries on prayer requests for people, all by the praise, honor, glory, and power of Jesus Christ. Never, Paul, kid, I'm nothing, nobody. I'm a slave, the least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge pond. But I will pray for you every day if you ask me to. Believe me, and God will answer all my prayers if I pray in his holy will. Please share the link to this channel, this video, or other videos with friends, neighbors, coworkers, with loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. We have to get the word of God out the way it's written. Not the soft soap, candy cane, fluff, cotton candy stuff that's preached nowadays, but the meat and potatoes with a side order of key lime pie, the, the, the hardcore Bible, the way it's written, the way I preach it here. Not because I'm anything, but because God is everything. I love you guys and I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Thanks.